topic is large numbers. Before we go to large numbers, let us just take a small recap what you learnt in class 2. Can you read this number? This is 485. 5 is at which place? 1's. 8 is at 10's place. And 4 is at 100's place. Let us just recap the face value and the place value of the given number. Each digit in a number has a place value and a face value. In this number, 485, the digit 4 is the 100's place. So what is the place value of 4? 4? 400. And what is the face value of 4? The number itself, that is 4. Now, just tell me, you might have learned counting till 999. What will happen if we add 1 to 999? 9 plus 1, 10. 1 will be carried over. Again 9 plus 1, we will get 10. And 1 will be carried over. 9 plus 1, 10. Now, what is this digit we have got? Here the 0 is at 1's place, 10's place and 100's place. Now, what is this 1? At what place is it? So, we are going from 100's to 1000's. This is your place value chart. A place value chart help us to read and understand large numbers. There are families of numbers also. Like we have family members, numbers also belong to families. This is one's family. It has three members. Ones, tens and hundreds. And then there is thousands family. Here there are two members. Thousands and ten thousands. Let us again see three members of one's family. Ones, tens and hundred. And thousands have two members, thousands and ten thousand. Let us just read the given number here. It is five thousand seven hundred forty-seven. Now, what if I add one to nine thousand nine hundred ninety-nine? Just see, again nine plus one, ten. One will be carried over. Nine plus one. 10, 1 will be carried over. 9 plus 1, 10. It will be carried over. Now after the 4 digit number, 4 digit greatest number, when we add 1 to it, we get the 5 digit number. That is 10,000. So what is 10,000 having? 1 at 10,000 place and there are 4 zeros in 10,000. Now let us just learn how to insert periods. What are periods? As I told you, once has three members, once family has three members. That is one period is finished. So if we read this number 2789, we will see that there are three members in one's family. When one family is completed, we insert a period here. That is 2, 9 and 8. It belongs to one's family. We will insert a period here to separate it from the thousands family. 7 and 2 belongs to thousands family. So how are we going to read this number now? 27,892. Can you try out these two numbers? Insert the period in these two numbers. Let us see in the next slide. See, this is 57,102. So to separate the families, we insert period in them. Let us read this number 99,231. So to separate thousands from one's family, we insert a period. Just a recap of place value and face value. This is 27,195. So if I have to ask that what is the place value of 2 here? It is at 10,000's place. 2, 10,000. But what is the face value of 2? It is 2 only. 7 is at 1000's place value. But what is the face value? 7. This is 100. So 1 is the face value and 100 is the place value. For 9, 9 is the face value and 9 tenths is the place value. This is 5 ones. 5 ones is the place value and 5 is the face value. Now how do we write the number in words? When writing the number in words, we write exactly what we say. 24,134. This is 24,134. 
This is what the number name for the given number. 24,124. Now just read the next number. This is 30,224. So when you are writing in words, how are you going to write it? 30,245. I hope I have made myself clear. Now let us come to another topic in the large number that is expanded form. What is the meaning of expanded? Expanding means we are stretching something. The given number can be written in a expanded form. Numbers can also be represented in expanded form. This means writing the value of the number using the face value and place value of each digit. For example, here is number 40,000. 856. Now how can we write this in the expanded form? I am going to tell you two ways to write the number in the expanded form. Just see the first way. Let us just see this 40,856. So 1 is at which place? It is at 10,000th place. So 1 we we'll write 10,000 like this as if I have already told you earlier. In 10,000th there are 4 zeros and 1 and we don't forget to put the period in between. Then comes 4 is at thousands place. So we have written 4000 here. 4000 has 4 digits. Here 3 are zeros and 1 4. Then 800 plus 50 plus 6. So this is the first way to write in the expanded form. Let us see the second way. Second way here we can write like this. 1 10 thousands plus 4 thousands. Plus 8 hundreds, plus 5 tenths, plus 6 ones. So these are the two ways in which you can write your expanded form of the given number. Just try this. Read the number 28,156 and expand it in two ways. Comparison of numbers. Now in class 2, you might have learned how to compare one digit or two digit number. Suppose I take 8 on one side and 2 on the other side. And let's say a uh, crocodile loves to eat the bigger number. So the crocodile always open its face towards the bigger number. This you have already learned. Let us compare a little bigger number. 2356. And 2386. But here, when we will compare, we will see that 2 here also at 1000 place it is written 2. Here also it is written 2. Now how to compare it? So what we will do? We will go to the next place value. Here again at 100 place it is written 3. In this digit, in this number also it is written 3. So we will go to the 10th place. Now you can see here it is written 5. And here it is written 8. So which number is greater here? 356. 2386. So these two were same. Only the place value which was different was at 10th place. So we will make a open mouth towards the bigger number that is 2386. So if the digits are same at thousands and hundred place, we see the digit at tens place. Here is another example. This is a five digit number. 16,743, 16,473. Again we will see what are the digit given at different place values. And if the digit and the place value are similar, we move to the other place value. So in this, 1, 10,000, 1, 10,000, it is same. 6,000 place value, 6,000 place value, that is also same. Now 7, now when we go to the hundreds place value, in this number it is written 7 and in this number it is written 4. So where are we going to open the mouth? Towards this number. So which is the biggest?
1,231. So which is the smallest number here? 1,231. We have to arrange from smallest to the greatest number. So what is the next number which will come? 1,000 we have written. Then comes 2,131. And remember to put the sign correctly. Then comes 
pair. It is not forming a pair, so this is an odd number. Again, if I paste three with these, I only have one pair with me. So this is not a even number. This is an odd number. Again, if I paste five with these, one, two, three, four, five, I can get only two pairs. One will be left alone. So this is also an odd number. One, three, five, seven. Nine. They all are odd numbers. So whenever any number ends with one, three, five, seven, nine, they are all 